Hey boys, welcome back to some more Nathan Cleary career, and uh, it's going to be round four of the season. Going to be taking on the Newcastle Knights, and uh, I think is this. I think this might be the first game where I restarted it and had to simulate through because I was looking at the the fixtures there, and we were still. Two and one, two wins, one loss, and it was the same. Like we won the first game, won round three, lost round two. Um, and the ones we, <laughs> if I'm explaining it right, <laughs> the ones we simulated, it's done the exact same thing. If if we are the indeed the yeah, it definitely it definitely is because Villing Army Kickout is in the back row instead of instead of the uh, the prop which. Uh, for some reason, he always is. So, that's 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 crazy. The uh, I didn't even realize when it happened, but when I simulated um, the games, it, it worked out exactly the same as the 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 games I'd already already played. So, I didn't even really need to talk about it because you just wouldn't even you wouldn't be none the wiser. Basically, is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we scamper from dummy half a decent kick down field the win was just uh just held it up a little bit and Caitlin Ponga able to uh swoop and almost pull our pants down with a with a long range effort there some poor poor kick chase defense which is not your what is not what you want to see early on in the game if you're putting in early kicks you want your defensive line to get up quickly as uh who is that Tuala getting uh getting past us here with a Neat bit of footwork, just uh, yeah, a little, little in and away as the kick goes out. That's an absolute shocker from uh, from Crossland, and it's taken fairly comfortably on uh, on that side by our boys. So just getting into the into the rhythm is an absolute mammoth shot there. Poor old Edwards, we set him up there. The hospital ball back on the inside, he got absolutely smoked and uh, turned over possession. So is it is it our fault? I, I wouldn't say so. I think it's Edward's fault because he did he did lose the footy. Um, <laughs> you know, you got to take your lumps when you when you get them. As uh, the Knights go on the attack here with Tuolo again out wide, it's gonna be fifth and last. So defensively, honestly, the our, our team has been pretty pretty strong in uh, in general. As the kick goes straight into the back of Clemmer, that's that's awful play from the from the Newcastle boys. Just just getting in each other's way. Not what you want to. Not what you want to see at all as uh, out of dummy half here. Beautiful ball across to Dean Fari back on the inside. It comes up the back. We're tackled without the ball, sir. Tackled without the ball. And Edric Lee skips out of two tacklers. And he's going to burn. What on earth was that? Hell, how the hell has Edric Lee finessed his way through that many defenders? He skipped out of one tackle. He skipped out of our tackle. And then it looked like, I think it was Kikau and... and Maybe Coruscant. They were like both converging, like they had him for they had him for all money, and then he just he just sliced through. Edric Lee. I mean, he has been very good at uh, Newcastle. Honestly, he's he's come on leaps and bra uh, leaps and bounds. But that was that was awful. That was awful. The big the big fellas skipped away and uh, scored a solo try. Now Mitchell Pierce taken to the line, almost gets over there. Thankfully, we do roll him over and, and hold him up. So fifth and last now. It's going to go back to Barnett. Putting in a kick. It's a it's a rattling one. But uh, thankfully, we're able to, to scoop it up off our off our toes there. As uh, Again, the Knights on the attack. And again, it's going to be Kalen Ponga this time able to score the second try. And yeah, this is... this is, It's reminiscent of, uh, of round two. Just every, try, every time trying to come out of our own end, just coughing the ball up just giving away errors after errors and you know you you, you can't win footy games like that and the, the Knights going to take a 12-0 lead into the break unless we can do something special at the end here we did put a nice little kick in behind couldn't uh couldn't really get away from the the defense unfortunately though as uh Tamo does uh does try to pass it away just the the play before the break, he gets knocked down. So we do get we do get one last chance of a scrum play here, which is always ideal. We're gonna go to the blind side now, sweeping around the back. Beautiful work. It's gonna be us to be. We got ankle tapped. We try to get the pass away to the outside. Oh, that could have been 
that could have been something special, but the ankle tap slowed us up, and then trying to find support on the outside just did not work as... You look at those completions, I mean, that's that's the story of the tape so far, is again, we get a, a, a great start to the second half. We got a, we got a scrum feed right uh, right in the try line. As we've got the blind side open here, surely, what are you doing, though? He was over. <laughs> he was over, dude. Oh, my goodness. He passed it back for no reason. Absolutely bombed a try. It was... He was in. He was in in the corner. I don't know why. I don't know why he passed it back. Because again, they're going for the blind side play. Beautiful ball, but he's forward. He's called forward. The refs. Oh, the touchy. He's not even in line with it. Pull your head in, mate. That wasn't forward. That was a beautiful pass away to Toto, and uh, we got pings. So two bomb tries, both on that wing with that blind side play. That's uh, not good at all. As we try to spread it out, what he's doing. <laughs> Toto and I think probably Brent Naden on that side just watching the ball go between them and no urgency to pick it up so this is um yeah the boys have not turned up here as we finally get a chance show and go again they tackle him without the footy hopefully this is gonna be our our scrum feed it is thankfully so uh yeah it's, it's been it's been a scrappy game it's been a very scrappy game as you go right here to um to Nate and beautiful ball onto Dean Fare down the sideline doesn't have the pace to go go on with it but uh, look nice little slick uh, scrum play there as I uh, take it to the line but uh, who is that probably um, maybe Leota gets gets driven back oh big shot there <laughs> big shot probably actually it's probably James Tarmo I think it was the number the number 10 is the bomb goes up here no urgency again what are you doing <laughs> I don't know what the boys are doing this game they got no urgency to collect the footy and then the air is coming off from our try line has been a disgraceful effort as Crossland is almost going to get his way over the try line I mean if we if they score here it's, it's game over um even if they don't, it's it's almost game over. But we, we have to hold them out as the kick goes up. Mansour able to round it up and just going to give possession over. That time, that time, I will admit that was my fault. I accidentally called for the for the footy. Um, and on the back of that, Herman SASA is going to score. Very, very annoying. All the other errors, honestly, I not my fault. <laughs> Probably a couple might... might a little bit B, but um, like the errors coming out from the try line have just been like forward passes from dummy half and just just random crap like that. It hasn't been like calling for the footy. It's beautiful play there on the left hand side. We're backing up the middle, and that's going to be a try. Beautiful work. I mean, that was so so slick and so easy. We've needed more of, more of that for sure, but a bit bit a uh, bit too little, too late. It's uh. It's going to look like, but uh, yeah, going back to that, that was, you know, I'll own up. That was, that was my fault. I <laughs> like I said, accidentally called for the, call for the footy after he took the, took the high ball and, uh, and he, he threw it into the back of the, the ninth player. So we do get a chance here. They give away a penalty and we go for real distance on the, uh, the penalty kick here. Thankfully the wind just is, it's just going to travel over the, uh, the touchline there as a uh, nice little blindside play again here, trying to get, uh, Toto involved. He is, uh, he's a superstar in the making Toto. So get him, get him the footy as, as much as possible. Really is uh crabbing cross field. Nice little ball. Great offload. Coruscant looking dangerous. Couple of minutes left. You know, we're, we're pretty much, we're out of the game, but we'd love to score a cup, you know, another try here to, to just get a little confidence going into the, to the next game basically is uh, look to go left here. Long ball out to Brian Toto down the sideline. He's going to use his power to power his way into the try line score a second try and yeah disappointing I mean very disappointing because this is this just goes to show like what what could have been we scored two tries like fairly easily down this left hand side it's just been it's just been very very scrappy too many errors I actually feel like our defense hasn't been too bad but yeah just just gifting the Knights too many too many points as uh we do take a, a quick kick so we <laughs> We're in with a sneaky shot to potentially score a freakish try off the kickoff. It's going to be tough, but 
We're in with a we're in with a, a slim hope as we spread it out wide here, try to get the pass away. Probably not the play. We, we had to get it out wide. We had to spread them thin, but didn't uh, didn't really work. We do get man of the match. I don't know if it's deserved, but uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.